This is a new tutorial series where we're going to learn how to create an Android video application using the Camera 2 APIs. This application will also be able to capture images while doing the video recording. Part one of this new tutorial series is going to be friendly towards beginners new to Android and we're going to learn how to add image icons to our Android application. Welcome to Mobile Application Tutorial. My name's Nigel. Right, so starting a brand new tutorial, I'm going to make the, this tutorial into small bite sizes where we focused on a concept or an Android topic uh, each in each tutorial. And these are going to be like Lego building bricks and eventually we will reach the summit which will be an Android video application. Okay, let's make a start. I'm going to create the application from scratch and then I'm going to add some image icons to my application and this is going to be the application look and feel part one. Okay, so I'm going to start a new Android Studio project and I'll call this camera to video. We're going to catch a video and you can catch Im images while doing the video recording, so let's call it that name. I'm going to keep the defaults as they're shown here. Go for a blank an empty activity, and we'll call this camera to video image. Let's select finish and wait for the project to initialize. Okay, the building of the project's now completed. Let me just go into my resource file. I want to check out the layout here and open up the layout and go into design tab. Okay, let's fix this rendering problem. You would have seen me do this in a few of my other tutorials. So go into values, select styles.xml and go up to the theme here and just append the word base dot to there. Now we can go back to our layout and go to this refresh button, select refresh. And that should be fixed. Okay. Let me see if I can fill in the display properly here. As such, we don't need the text view saying hello world so we can delete that. Okay, now I'm going to go and add an image. So go into the resource folder over here and right click. I'm using a Mac so it's a two finger click and select image asset here. Okay, I'm going to keep two image icons here. So next thing here is we can search for the image we want to load. The key point here is try and get the largest resolution image and um, Android Studio will scale smaller for smaller icons. Okay, so select that. Now what I want to do here is I want to go to where my SDK is. My SDK does include a number of icons, so I'm just going to add um, basically a video button and a camera capture button here. So let me find where my SDK is. So I've put it in my home folder. Here's my SDK. Um, I would have downloaded this a while ago from uh, the, the Android website. Select SDK, then go to Platforms. I'm going to select Android 23, go to Data, go to Resources, and this is all these folders here, these subdirectory folders probably include a lot of icons there. I'm just going to try and search for one. Uh, let's call it Video. Search in there. Okay, already it's showing me a number of icons. So I want one of these. I just want to check the size of it. I want to go for the largest size possible. Probably 48 by 48. So I'm going to choose that. Now I'm just going to rename it. I'm going to call it a button, BTN underscore and I'll call it video 
online, similar to the, what the name's called. Now we can select next and select finish. Now let's see where that ended up at. So here they are here under map. So here are our application icons. So there it is there. Okay, I'm now going to add a, another icon for when the application's actually recording. So they'd be like a busy record. And I'm going to add a camera icon as well in case we want to take a picture while we're videoing. Okay, I'm going to do this in super fast because I'm just going to do the same process of what we did for this one. Okay. I've now added my icons to my project. Next step here is I'm going to add a couple of image views or image buttons to my relative layout. And those buttons be used to hold the images that I just imported in, into the project. So go back into um, the design tab if you're not already there. And we're going to see, we've got image button here. And so I'm going to put one around there. We will reposition them a bit later on. And I'm going to add another one as well. And sort of put it sort of next to it. I've got two of them. Now I want to go into my text tab down here. So I've got my two image buttons here. First thing I'm going to do is just give the ID something that I can understand. So, the first one I believe is for the video, so let's call um, video online, make that uppercase, and the next one will be for the camera itself, so let's type camera, make image uppercase as well. Now you notice that I've got a red underscore line down here. Basically it's because I've changed the button here and the positioning of this button here is dependent on this button. We've changed the ID so we're going to have to correct the ID here. So let's just correct it now as such and you'll notice that the red line disappears underneath. Okay, so I've now named these two buttons. Now I'm going to add the actual source of the image to this, both to both of these image buttons. We'll start with the camera first. So let's say select at camera source as such. And in this case, if we look across here, it's under the mipmap folder. So we use this at naming conven convention. And now we enter the name of the file, which is btn. And it'll be online will be the default image here. Now let's go and do the same for the camera down here. It's underneath here. So that Android source. Again, it's going to be map. This is Mipmap's where we tend to stick all the icons for the application. Images and all that will tend to be put into the drawable folder up here. Anyway, so what's this one going to be called? This is going to be the camera as such. Okay, so we've now added images to both of these and we're wrapping content. You notice here, width and height and the same with the image down, button down below, we're wrapping the content. So we're wrapping the image view over the actual size of the image. So let's go back to design and see what we see. Okay, so we've now got our two images showing here. And we can drag them across here as such. Let's make them a little bit closer together. You can see the green upper, up, uh, the upper horizontal green line. This means basically this image views linking its positioning to the top of that other image button as such. You will notice that we've got these little explanation marks here. 
So if we click on those, we get a little light bulb pop up and it tells us we're missing the content description attribute. So with image buttons, images, it likes to have a content description. So let's go and add those while we're here just so we can be a bit tidy. First thing I want to do is string values need to be added to the strings.xml file here. We've got an example here from the default uh, for the name of the application, but let's just add another one just for the video button and the camera button. Uh, let's call it video button. This will be video record button. And do the same thing for the camera. And this will be the camera above here. Save that. Now let's go back into our layout file up here. And go into the text, we're going to get rid of those yellow explanation marks. So we can put it under ID again. This time it will be content description, that's what it's asking us for. And we've got the string. And this will be the video button. And we'll do the same for the camera button as well down here. And that's going to be camera button. Um, you may want to know why we're putting all our strings into one file. That's for portability of the application. It makes the application easy to portable. All your text strings go into one place. And it also assists for uh, internationalization, localization, um, doing translations to different languages for your application. Easier just to have it all in one file. Okay, so now you can see that the, the little yellow triangles have now disappeared because we've done things properly. Okay, now let's try running this application on our device itself. Google Nexus 5X. So select the Run App button up here. Select OK. Okay, let me just record what the display so you can clearly, clearly see what's showing up. So there we have it, we've got the display showing up there. And so that's all we wanted to achieve from part one of this tutorial, look and feel. So as you can imagine, it's gonna have two buttons, one record and one uh, image capture. And we will set up the preview for doing that at one, one of the later tutorials. Okay, so that's it to this tutorial. Basically, you've just learned how you can use Android Studio to easily um, import image icons into your application as we've done then and then adding those image icons into a image button um, that's been put inside the relative layout and we just ran the application to make sure our look and feel was actually working at this stage. Okay that completes part one of this tutorial series. If you want to be notified of future tutorial series and you haven't subscribed to my channel already click on that subscribe button and if you're into social media like most other people are, um, we've got clickable links if you're on a PC for my Twitter, my Facebook, my Pinterest and my Google Plus account. And probably most importantly is a direct link above me to my website. So my website contains all additional information so that, such as how can you get the code from GitHub, explanations of how to get that. And we break the code into the portions and brief explanations of those as well as the video itself. That's all for this one. Bye for now.